Hi, Hi guys. guys. So today we thought we'd do a video on, oh gosh, what we put in their going out bags. So uh, typically we just have these bags for like when we go on say a day trip or something. Yeah. But we do have stuff in there which would be for overnight because sometimes we just have to stay out. <laughs> yeah, or we get stuck somewhere. So we have to put these things in here just in case the girlies need these things. So it's got three different compartments. We've got one at the front, which is this one. Magnetic button. It's just a cute little like clip one like that. Yeah, so it's nice and secure. And then the big compartment is just all of that, that whole thing in there, yep. which okay. you draw string and um, clip. And then you've got that tiny little one there. Which we seem to try and shove everything into. Yeah, it's like a Mary Poppins pocket. <laughs> right, so let's start with the first thing that we pull out so, when we put our hand in. We're not looking. <laughs> Perfect combination. Yes, explain. <laughs> so I've just got <clears throat> a bottle. Um, I don't have a preference on who has it, but... It's got nine ounces, it's a cute little Disney bottle, and we just keep these in the bag because obviously while we're out, the girls will need bottles, so it depends how long we're going to be staying out for, <coughs> or how many bottles, bottles we, take. we take. So mm -hmm. I've just got one simple one which is in there, which has been ready made, because we did go out for a bit today. So we made this one, but it hasn't been used yet. So this is the milk powder dispenser. You saw the water in that bottle, which was already boiled, and then when we go to give it to the babies, we will just twist, pour it in, make the bottle, just like any normal bottle you make. Yep. So that's what that is. Next thing I pull out oh. is <laughs> another bottle per se. It's not a bottle. It's Skylar's water bottle. So as you can see, it's got these nice little grippy bits on it, so it's quite easy for her to hold, but sometimes she just doesn't want to. So it has got the teeth so I can just hold it and feed it to her instead of like a one she has to suck, so I can just give it to her and she can. Did you have say it that, that, way. that that was just their water bottle? I think so. But it's possible anyway, I didn't. That's just her just water, water bottle. bottle. No milk goes in it, it's just for water and it's already boiled and put in at the beginning of every single day. Then I just got some nappy sacks for their nappies. You can never have too many nappy sacks. Basically, and for their dirty clothes, in case it's like really dirty and you don't want to put it in with the clean clothes. Usually if they leak, we so, tend yeah. to use those for. Yeah, that's what that is. Next thing I pull out mm -hmm. is a hairband. So, well, a headband, not a hairband. Um, headbands, we typically tend to put on them before we go out but like we said sometimes we have to stay overnight so we do keep things in there so we when we need to do their hair or anything like that so i've just got this cute little um both the girls like it both the girls wear it and yeah it's just nice and pretty and pink sometimes we do have to like redo their hair <laughs> and like <laughs> out. if if it does get messy we might change the style so we could potentially put that on my next thing is a bottle, she's already explained, it's just got the boiling water in it for the day, again it's 8 ounces and any girls would have it, I'll probably decide when I give it to them, yeah. Right, next thing that I pull out of my bag, I looked but I shouldn't have, is a bottle, we've explained it, this one's 9 ounces though, which hers are eight I believe yeah eight this was for milk if I didn't already say yeah these Not long ones are for milk I have just pulled out I've pulled out the bib and it's very waterproof as you can from here when you screw it up I put it on for their milk um I tend to put this one on Des just because she's more of the girly girl and I do have a blue one in there for a tiger. That's for milk. So next thing I pull out, <laughs> shouldn't be looking, but the next thing I pull out is Poppy's water bottle. 
Hers has got ounces on it, as you can see. Just here. It's got ounces on it because Poppy is not a big drinker at all when it comes to water. So we do like to keep the ounces on there so we can see how much she has drank. And yeah, that's that one. I've just pulled out the same for Des. Again, she's not a big fan of water. So it's got the ounces on. Yeah, so um, we do like to record how much they have just because they're not a big fan of it and we do want them to drink as much as possible yeah. because they're only little so they need to keep hydrated on water not just fill up on milk yeah that's what that is so next if i don't look i've got milk powder dispenser which again has already been explained it's very simple it's got three little segments and yeah it's very easy you can just carry it take it wherever you want and we don't have to take this, which is absolutely massive. And this is the formula that we use. We do get it when it's reduced because it's super, super expensive. But um, we tend to get this one because it is the cheaper one, even when it is reduced or isn't reduced. But we still get this one regardless because they seem to take more to this one than they do Aptamil or SNA. So, yeah. Yeah, I just pulled out a toy, as you've probably heard when I pulled it out. <laughs> um, it used to be um, Dez's favourite, because it's very noisy. But we just recently went out and bought two new toys, and they're busy playing with them. Absolutely and obsessed with them, I'm surprised you can't hear them. Yeah, you um, would be lucky to get them off of them, as Poppy showed My you little one <laughs> earlier, Poppy. I tried to take it off of her so I could um, give her a bottle and she was having none of it. She tried to pull it back off me so I was like... <laughs> and she had a paddy okay. and yep. threw herself forward. <laughs> yep, because right that's what my covers. one tends <laughs> to do. So next we have cocktail sticks. So we both generally take one each but this time I just brought them along because we didn't actually know we were going to be staying out this time. But we've just got these cocktail sticks, which we just keep in our bags at all time, just to put in the bottles when the other ones just get a bit smelly or just a little bit worn out. And I just bought out the other milk bottle. Again, this one is eight ounces. And either girl will have it. Yeah, I'm not really fussed. But water's already made, just waiting for the powder to go in. Next thing I pull out is a pair of spare mittens. I know we've said in quite a few of our videos that our girls have got very, very, very poor circulation. So they need to pretty much all the time have something on their hands so they're warm. So I've just got these spare ones. They are Winnie the Pooh. And they're very cute. The girls love them. But most of the time on their onesies, they've got mittens. So and they've also got mittens for their hats. So most of the time they don't need the spare ones, they're just there just in case I lose them. I've only just found three socks. I do have about six pairs of socks in my bag because Tiger will eat them. Not like swallow them, but she <laughs> yeah. will chew on them because she wants to get to her toes. <laughs> don't ask, she's a bit strange. And Des is just so messy, she will get She'll probably end up with milk on her toes. On her toes, <laughs> even with a bib on, and all even her clothes. if I'm feeding her. <laughs> yeah. So that's my little one. <laughs> There's only three I found, so I'll probably find another three somewhere along the line. Next thing that I have pulled out, of course, one of the essentials that you need to have in your nappy bag or going out bag, is nappies. So. We tend to put our nappies in the bigger compartment and then there's just a couple in the front just to pull them out as quick as possible when we need them. But we try to have at least seven or eight nappies in our bag when we go out because our girls, they they wee a lot, they poo a lot. So you need to have the nappies there just yes. to be on the safe side. <laughs> yes, so again, we have said that this is a bag for the day, but like we said, we might end up staying overnight somewhere, so I do pack a little onesie just to sleep in. Very cute. Yeah, little hearts, and obviously it's got mittens on if some of our girls, and yeah. 
We call it a onesie, but some might call it a sleeper or yeah. something. Yeah, we don't want you guys to get confused and be like, because I know a lot of people call what we call vests, they call onesies, but we call these onesies. Yeah, just, sleepers, onesies. Yeah. It's very confusing. Just so you guys That's are aware. That's what we call onesies. Don't get confused. So I've just pulled out a onesie, and again, hearts. I think they were actually maybe from the same set because this one's got pink hearts, but it's white. And her one is pink with white hearts. But yeah, again, they've got the little mittens on it. Just because our girls are very cold hands. All messy already. <laughs> and I think only one of my girls have worn it. Probably Poppy. Obviously, she's got hold of something and she's... Got hold of a pen, by She's got it. hold of a pen and she's... um. Messed been drawing. <laughs> she's already an artist at such a young age. <laughs> I just pulled out a toy. You don't tend to bring a lot of toys with us just bring a few in case they get distressed where they are this is tiger's toy but she does tend to share with her little sister it's just yeah you can just just a mickey mouse one we got we actually got this one from poundland mm -hmm. so quite cheap and cheerful really and they love them so that's yeah. the main thing next thing i pull out is bib we all know what a bib's for um, already been explained, it's very waterproof and I tend to use this for milk and water. This is Tiger's water bottle, again it looks exactly the same as that one, mm -hmm. just pink and Minnie Mouse. Because they're twins of course. It's got the grip for them to grip if they really want to try, but again it's just a tea if they get lazy and they want us to feed. Again it's not got any ounces on because we know that Tiger and Skylar just like water. <laughs> They'll drink. They'll drink anything. They're not They're bothered. Not and here I have another onesie. Obviously we have two in both of our bags because we have two girls and in case we stay out. So this one's just got flowers on it and it's got the little mittens on it again. Cute little onesie that one. They really like that one. I've just found the last three socks. <laughs> so that's six socks. And they're actually wearing a pair. So I have eight. Just yes. now, here. Yeah, so we I have loads have more at our houses. <laughs> Which is saying something, she has to bring eight pairs of socks. <laughs> yeah. So here I've got a milk slash dribble bib. I use this as a dribble bib for Skylar, but she, she she's not a dribbler. She, she tends to be all right, but I just bring this one just in case. I've put out an outfit. So you can see we just fold the clothes up and slip it in the vest and then we can just fold the vest over and it's just put that in the bag like that so it's easy to just put very in. neat neat and it saves room and yeah. and you can just pull it out it's and just easy to get both dressed know. we're very fussy with what our girls wear so we both know as soon as we pull out a vest all the clothes will be in there so we can just get the girls dressed and we're not bothered about what the girls wear without a hassle basically so you yeah. don't know you're not trying to pull up fine tops and trousers and vests. Yeah. Next thing I've pulled out is wipes. Obviously to clean their faces, nappy. We tend to just have the pocket size one, but we do have big sizes as well, which we've shown in our previous videos. But yeah, we just have the pocket size ones just to take out with us because it's a lot easier to handle and carry around. I've just got a blue tack. We do <laughs> keep blue tack in our bags just because they're dummies. We have cut the teats off and we have to use blue tack to shape to their mouth. They're not really a big dummy fan anymore, but we yeah. do keep it just in case they're unsettled. Yeah, because so they tend to like their dummies when they are unsettled, but most of the time or, they're happy with toys or, if or they're their teddy. Or teething, yeah. so we do keep it in just in case. So the next thing I pulled out is an outfit. I, I'm not bothered about which outfit the girls wear. I'm not fussy, I'm just fussy about what goes with the outfit but that's yeah. why we pre <laughs> pre-fold it all yeah. but yeah this like what she said it's all in there so it's just ready to go i have just pulled out another onesie it's these two are their favorite onesies that's why you'll probably see a lot of it <laughs> yeah. um this is just bunnies doing bunny things shopping obviously Sleeping eating because that's what bunnies do <laughs> apparently they go shopping <laughs> probably ride a bike on here somewhere yeah. <laughs> that's the bunny one 
The bunny onesie. The <laughs> girls love it. <laughs> yeah. Next thing I've pulled out is another outfit, which for some reason has pink string on it. So, like we said, everything's packed in there ready, but that's just a cute little vest. I've pulled out some nappies. I only keep a few nappies in the main part, but in the front part I do only keep like two, so it's easy to reach if they've got an explosion or something. So I do keep more in the big compartment in case we do stay overnight. That's why I've got many nappies. Next thing I've pulled out is, it's typically used for milk, but I use it for a dribble bib for Poppy. Because Poppy's a dribbler. Very much so. <laughs> and that basically covers her whole front. Yep. So it doesn't stop doesn't... the dribble though, it just, it gets through to her clothes because it's Poppy. <laughs> I just pulled out another milk bib. I do have dribble bibs, but I didn't bring it with me because I wasn't prepared. So this, I usually put this one on Tiger because she is more of my tomboy. So she does have a lot of boyish clothes, but we don't stereotype. So the blue one is primarily used for Tiger. And I haven't specified. This one I typically use for... Skylar, but Skylar is not in any way my tomboy. Poppy is. I just for some reason have put this one on Sky. On blue. Sky. Yeah. But typically Poppy is my tomboy and then obviously the pink one goes to Poppy, even though she is my tomboy. I just want her to be more of a girly girl. <laughs> have you got everything out? I've got a couple of socks. <laughs> you gotta have socks, don't you? Um, for some reason, probably Poppy, it tends to be my little one, she's managed to, I don't know if you can see, stain it yellow, probably with something, I don't know, she's managed to stain the other vest with pen, I don't know where she gets these things from. I have four because Skylar's typically not my messy one, Poppy is, so I have four in hopes that that will be enough. <laughs> And I've just pulled out another outfit again. I could put it on either girls, it doesn't really matter. In their vests, fold it over, bam, easy storage. Straight in the bag, Whoop. simple. Done. So, that's everything for my main compartment. And that's everything for my main one, because that should be in that one. <laughs> so, so I should do that little one, that let's tiny see this one. tiny little bag, this tiny little bit that tends to have everything in it. This is our Mary Poppins pocket. So. <laughs> yeah. It's only actually, let me measure, that's that. That's the top and that's the bottom of the pocket. But we still managed to have all these and things in there. How, how wide? That wide. So <laughs> it is basically a Mary Poppins pocket. Because we keep everything you could possibly think of in this tiny little pocket. And let's see. Ready? The first thing. The hairbrush. Hair you need to have a hairbrush with our girls. They just, it doesn't matter what they're doing, they could just be sat there, they'll still get messy hair. So we always need to keep a hairbrush. We both have a pink one and we both have a green one, but just so we can switch out every so often. But yeah. Yeah, um, you'll probably see how messy their hair gets as if we film, well, we will film them, but during the filming, we will have to probably do their hair do about their hair three again. times. Because they are so messy. So that's the so that's why we have a hairbrush. The next thing I pull out is the spray. spray bottle. <laughs> we so have this. Full of water, normal water. We just spray it on their hair, brush, 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 and then that helps keep their hair down and tame it because our girl's hair is just all over the place. It is typically used for the hair, although we do Use spray. It. Yeah. Um, cotton buds to clean out their ears in between their fingers sometimes their noses because they get food up their nose well not food they get milk up their nose and it's and just a nightmare in their mouth sometimes the milk will dribble and then yeah just got to clean, it out. To clean it out so that's why we have that as well the next thing which i don't appear to be able to get off we do clip these on the edge so they're not actually in the pocket so a lot of things are clipped on the edge so we've just got these really cute dummy clips. So we've got these ones here, these which ones are very really simple easy. to open. Therefore, our older ones. 
So I've just got blue. I've got a pink, blue, green, stripy one. These are for our older ones, so Sky and Tiger. Yeah. And then here we've got a lot harder. I'm, I struggle to use this one. <laughs> so do so I. because they the little ones used to have these ones, and then they started to open it and close and rip it, it off, yeah, and it throw off. it. Yeah. So that's why they've got harder ones now, so we don't lose it. Yeah, very hard for the girls to get it off. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, that's just a cute little. Don't ask me what it is because I've no idea. Maybe it's an Mine's old an man, octopus. an old man, or a fish. <laughs> Mine's an octopus. I think it's a dragon, isn't it? A dragon, an old man. <laughs> Mine's not an octopus, sure. but it's blue because, like I said, Poppy is typically my tomboy. But this was Poppy's old one, hence why it's blue. <laughs> yeah. So that's the dummy tips. The next thing I'm going to take off the side. <laughs> oh. Got little hair clips little hair clips because like we said our girls get very messy so we need to pin their hair back most of the time because they're just spare as well because they will lose them i don't know how many clips we go through yep so we do have to bring spares and we constantly have to rebuy clips because somehow they manage to pull it out of their hair and throw it and just they're a nightmare i um have my dummies clipped onto them because i did recently just take them off of them because they're happily playing up there with their toys so they don't really need their dummies this one is tiger's favorite one which is similar to skylar's Skylar's bear twins i don't have mine on the clips at the moment because my girls they're not really bothered by it at the moment yeah. so they're not bothered by it anymore so we don't tend to give it, give to, it, them. it to them yeah but yeah, this one is Des's favourite one. And this one's Poppy's favourite one. And as you can see, they're very, very similar because they're twins. Yeah. So that's what goes in that. And then I think the last thing we have in that pocket. Yes. Oh, no, no, no. It's not the last thing because as I pulled these out, these came out. So obviously, like we said, we have cotton buds just to clean their ears, fingers, Noses, nose, mouth. mouth. Yeah, so that's why we keep them in, and then we've just got their muzzies. I need to sort this one out because it's very stringy. Yep, and it's very dangerous, so and we um, need to sort it out. We have cut it down because the other ones they would probably suffocate in. So we had to cut <laughs> yeah. it down. And get lost in. <laughs> and that's why it's all stringy, so I do probably need to get another one. We probably will get new ones and just... Soon, yeah. yeah. So that is... Um, and considering they don't really ever use their muzzies, they're only there for backup if their toys, dummy, or their little teddy bears that we've shown in a previous video doesn't work. So that is Des's. This is Skylar's. This is Tiger's. So they're, they're the twins. Same, so they're yeah. twins. And then I've just got a pink one for Poppy, which is that one there. So that is in that little compartment. And then the front we do keep the last one. Oh no no no! We do keep different things in this yeah. one, don't we? In um the big one, I found another hair clip. See, this is this proves how just how just bizarre. crazy bizarre our girls are. I don't know how I've managed to get a hair clip in that part, considering I put it in the small one. But you know, don't question things. So now onto the front one, which is where we keep most of our medicine type bits, nappies, just stuff like easy that. to reach. Yeah, stuff. things we need quite often. So she's got different to what I've got because obviously our children are different, yep. so they do need different things nope. at different times. <laughs> Ripping your bag out, yep, of your yeah, <laughs> taking my bag from me. I have a thermometer. I think you do too. Which I do as well. They get sick really, really easily. Very easily. And they are currently sick at the moment, aren't they? Considering how happy they are, you wouldn't think it though, but they are very sick. They do at have the a high temperature, so yeah. that is why we've got this out. And yeah, it just helps us to give the medicine. I've got cotton buds in here because they do get messy a lot of the time. So I do have a lot in there. And the first thing that I've got in that little part, well, the second thing is nappy bags. Because when my girls get messy, I just like to put it straight into a nappy bag, straight in the bag, and I just know I don't need to worry about it until we get home. 
I've got the little packet of wipes because my children are very messy and need the wipes quickly. <laughs> That's why I've got these in there. I've got two Pampers nappies. So do I. In the front, just because, like we said, our girls are, they explode very easily. So we've just got two to hand as quickly as possible so we can just get it out, sorted, done. And the last thing is a little syringe and some medicine. The syringe is only a 2.5 because it is actually designed for a baby baby. I don't know if you can see it that. It is from a baby medicine. I think it's for teething. Yeah, I believe so. But we just have this little one. We give five mil to the big girls. Two and we which put, will be two of these. Yeah, and then we put 2.5 for the little one. Which is just one of these. Yep. Yeah. That's why we have a thermometer, so we know when to give them their medicine. When they have a temperature. So I think... That is everything. That is everything in the bag. I will not tip it up because I've got loads of cotton buds in here. And if I tip it up, it will all fall out. So yeah. I think that is everything. That is everything from my side. And everything from my side. So that's everything. Um, make sure you like. And you subscribe. And you comment, comment things that you want to see. <laughs> Anything really, because at the moment, like we always say, we're doing videos that we think you guys will want to see. But if you want to see specific things, just comment down below so we know. So yeah, yeah that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. And be sure to tune in next time. <laughs> see you soon. Bye guys.